Former Top Gear presenters James May and Matt LeBlanc have paid tribute to the rally driver Ken Block, who has died in a snowmobile accident. Block, who starred in one of the show's most controversial moments, had found fame online with his daring motoring stunts. Martha Fairley has more. High-octane, heart-stopping stunts were the trademark of American rally driver Ken Block. Demonstrating breathtaking precision, executing seemingly impossible manoeuvres. His career began on the US rally circuit, but it was Block's daredevil driving that gained his Hoonigan brand worldwide fame. He took Top Gear's captain slow for a memorable spin on an airfield in California. But the show's former presenter, James May, never doubted he was in expert hands. We're alive! I had to camp up being scared, because with a lot of people that would be truly terrifying, that sort of thing. But he was so good and so incredibly precise, within a minute you thought, there's absolutely nothing to worry about here, he's just not going to get anything wrong, I can sit back and enjoy the ride. The jump, I think we did that four, maybe five times to get it from every angle we wanted. You could have put a postage stamp where the front tyre was going to land and it would have landed on it. In 2016, Block was criticised for performing donuts that left tyre marks next to the cenotaph while filming for Top Gear with presenter Matt LeBlanc on the streets of London. Does Winston approve? It doesn't look like it, does it? Sorry. Sorry. Block later said he'd kept a respectful distance, but the cenotaph sequence was never broadcast. Today, LeBlanc paid tribute on social media to a true talent and friend taken far too soon. Ken Block had been showing off tricks on his new skidoo just before Christmas, but it was confirmed last night he died in a snowmobile accident, his wife posting a picture of his helmet for the man who lived life in the fast lane. Martha Fairley on the life of the rally star, Ken Block.